Hey guys, Kev here. Today we are going to be talking about how to import third-party VST presets into the machine browser. Um, this is something, actually I saw the question posted up on KVR today. Um, well, as of the time that I'm recording this video, I'll probably put this video out in a day or two. Um, but I saw it on KVR and I went and I searched the manual and um, I was surprised to find this out. I don't know if this is common knowledge and I know a lot of people don't like reading through manuals. I don't enjoy reading through manuals. I like putting my hands on stuff and touching it. So we're going to sit down and I'm going to show you guys how to get your um, VST, third party VST presets into machine. Though in this example it's not going to be a third party VST. It's going to be done with battery 3.0. And the reason I'm doing it with battery 3.0 is if we go through these instruments and we look through them and we'll go drums and percussion, you see these are all the drum libraries that I have. I have the standard version of machine, uh, machine drum selections. Um, you see here battery, but then when you go to all banks, it only shows battery for content so it doesn't show battery three and if I go into user libraries you see there are no instruments so I'm gonna go through those I don't know why native instruments didn't include battery three presets in there I thought it was kind of ridiculous um, but I'm gonna put one of those presets in here I'm not going to go through all of them and also it's even funnier because then when you go native instruments under the sounds tab there's battery three so I still have battery three on here obviously um, what we're going to do, of course, you can only do this in the software, too. I don't want to forget that. Um, this feature does not work if you, um, from the hardware, you have to do this with your mouse. And, unfortunately, you do have to do it one by one, which is kind of a bother for me, too. Um, but what you're going to do is you open up Battery 3. You see I already have it opened up. And you are going to open up a patch. And I have to remember how to open up patches. Here we go, the browser. Uh, I got so used to using the machine browser of Battery 3 that I never did this standalone. And I'm just going to open up a patch here. Open up the bongo kit. Get this guy going. Here we go. Guys, here I have all my um, presets going. These are all the preset sounds for the bongo kit and Machine 3.0. Now what I'm going to do is you're going to take the little triangle on the drop down, click that. You're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom. Then you're going to see save as default, save as, save and open. Uh, open, that's if you want to open a patch. You can of course do that. Um, and it'll just open up like a regular file like you would say in a Word document. Save actually saves any changes that you make to the patch and it saves it in machine format. Save as is what we want because we want to save a new patch now if you want to alter this patch and save what you altered then you do save and then save as default would save this as the default patch for said uh, VST so I'm gonna go save as and you see here it's gonna take me to my machine 2.0 plugins folder and I'm going to say bongo kit I don't remember if that's what it's called but that's what I'm gonna call it so we're gonna call it the bongo kit and when you pull this drop down, now you see the preset for Bongo Kit. If we go over to the libraries, I'm going to hit Instruments, I'm going to go Users, and you see again Bongo Kit. Then you can also go into the editor, and of course you can make whatever you want to make here. For example, I'm going to go back to Bank, we're going to call it Battery 3 Types. I'm gonna oh yeah good I'm gonna scroll this up so I'm gonna put this under drums I'm gonna put it under percussion and I'm gonna apply it and there you go now this particular drum sound is a preset that will show up in machine in the machine browser and I know you guys can't see my controller right now but it also shows up as a user patch, and that's very important. A very important, important distinction. You're gonna go into your browser under instruments, and it shows up as a preset in the user in the user area on both your machine hardware and the software for Battery Three under drums. And that, that again, a very important distinction. I want to make sure we're clear about that. So 
I hope this helps somebody out. Of course, please write, rate, comment, and subscribe. Let me know if this helped you guys out. I'll see you guys next time. Check out KevWestBeats.com. Thanks for watching.